Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your forecast horoscope. This is going to be for December 12th to December 25th. And I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you'd like a person with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. Also, my beautiful darlings, if you're a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel. It's called JWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description box below. So some of the cases I've checked out on there so far is John JonBenet Ramsey, uh, The Black Dahlia, um, uh, also, I just recently just uploaded tonight, I did Natalie Woods. So if you guys are interested in uh, finding out more about some of the unsolved true crime stories or some of the mystery stuff, and or you have any suggestions, um, I'd definitely be interested in hearing what your suggestions are. Uh, that would be on my second channel, JWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description box below. All right, so we're gonna be talking about your astrology. Now with these astrology messages, and then we're also gonna move into your romantic love life and talk about who's coming towards you and all those kinds of things. With the astrology messages, I can't exactly control whatever spirit wants to give you like a message here. So this could be anything. It could be love, it could be finances, it could be uh, anything to do with spirit or anything to do with your everyday lives here. So it's whatever spirit wants to give you as far as these messages go. So. If you guys, and then we're gonna, after this, we're gonna cover love. So it's kind of like a two part kind of reading here. So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so well, how is Cancer's astrology gonna be affected for December 12th to December 25th? Show me the cards you need to see, show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's see here, Cancer. All right, we got the 12th house going on. We have Uranus. And we have Jupiter. We got blessings coming in. Interesting. Okay. So, and we see Pisces there at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so, so what is the 12th house? That's the house of the subconscious mind. That's the house of the past. That's the house of spirituality, right? Eighth house is more occult knowledge, 12th house is more spirituality, more isolations, more separation stuff, more feeling like trapped, that kind of energy, okay, wanting to detach yourself, also that could be the 12th house energy. We see that Uranus is there, so there's gonna be some huge, unusual changes coming in for you guys. That's gonna bring some blessings, and Jupiter is also a very spiritual, planet, but Jupiter, unlike Venus, is a benefic and it gives and gives and gives and gives and gives. So you've got a lot of blessings, a lot of big changes coming in, especially around something pertaining to the past or past life possibly, okay, and or uh, something to do with spiritual here. So, but let's get more clarity on this. What is this about here? So let's use this deck here. So how is Cancer's astrology going to be affected? for the next two weeks, December 12th to December 25th. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so what I heard was you're finally gonna benefit from the fruits of your labor, okay. So yes, this is this something that has beneath the surface, something that was beneath the surface there. That's the 12th house, that makes sense, Spirit, okay. And we see that there is a path here, whether you guys are aware of it or not. Maybe you guys aren't aware of it, or maybe you haven't been aware of it. Something has been covered up, all right? But we see that you're taking a leadership role, or there is some sense of control that you're gonna gain over your situation. And it's something that you've been waiting for that now is opening up for you guys. We see that there has been some restrictions or boundaries and you've been very protected, taken care of here. But now you're surrendering to the situation. Okay, now let's just talk about it because this is what's coming up for me for you guys. Okay. You know, if you, uh, I don't know if all, some of you guys, I know a lot of you guys are very intuitive. Some of you guys are card readers. Um, okay, so like when you're, you're doing like lucid dreaming and stuff like that and a fear comes up in the dream. And once you face that fear, okay, 
it dissolves and you feel really good about that, right? So, and that's even in, you know, in, in the physical world, like when you face something that you thought was difficult or you made more out of it than what it was, it dissolved and you realize, wow, that wasn't a big deal and you felt better about it. So I get the sense of there's been something beneath the surface, something that you had some worries and concerns of, something that you've been keeping to yourself, keeping hidden, and now there's gonna be some big changes here. You've been very protective of it within yourself about this situation, but the change is happening here. And you finally were just like, it doesn't matter. And so you surrendered to it and as a result, the blessings came in. So, and, I'll, and you even do this with manifestation too. So like, if we, if you put too much energy on something, right? You're pushing that away, you're pushing that away. But once you surrender to the energy and you pull the energy back, right? You can even talk about that like with exes. So like, uh, let's say you have a situation where, you know, you break up with somebody and then there's a lot of hurt and pain and, uh, and then once you forget about that person, that's when they show up again. So it's kind of like that, but it comes in a blessing in disguise here. So it's something that was a difficult thing for you, a difficult situation in the past, and you've kind of kept that to yourself, you kind of kept it hidden. It's something from the past, it's something that you've dealt with before, say it's a difficult situation. But now there's a, a very huge, unusual change coming in and you're getting blessings from this because you've just surrendered, you let go of that energy, you let go of that situation and you just didn't have any attachment around it. And now it's, it's, a, it's a blessing that's coming in. Yeah, we see there's, you're gonna gain some kind of knowledge here and yes, there's the gratitude. You're gonna be so grateful here. Yep, and there's the beauty and attraction here mm -hmm. because of this self-reflection. Mm -hmm. and you weren't really certain there was a little bit of confusion around this situation but as I said that you you you're gonna count your blessings there's abundance coming in for you guys okay before you couldn't see what was going on beneath the surface but now it's changing for you guys and the blessings are coming in and you're finally gonna benefit you're gonna finally get the fruits of those labors because of the fact that you just surrendered to it you uh, let it go and as a result, the pendulum swung around the other way. Okay, so let's go further. How is Cancer's astrology going to be affecting them for December 12th? We have also the 12th house has to do with dreams, so it's interesting. So when you channel information, how this stuff just comes in. Um, but it was a hidden fear that was there for you, a hidden situation. It was subconscious, okay? It was subconsciously there. Okay, so how is Cancer's astrology going to affect December 12th to December 25th? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. There we go. There is a generosity of giving. So it's like Jupiter energy. It's something that you're gonna get, you're gonna get a lot of abundance here. Blessings are coming in because of submissions. We see now that you're attracting this situation. Okay, what did I say guys? This is the key to manifestation. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen my manifestation video. I'm working on a class on it as well. I also have a small class on it on my website, but anyway. Uh, to me, it looks to me like for you guys, this is what happened. Like you were really attached to a situation. It caused some issues for you guys. So you kind of just let it go and you didn't think about it. And it was in the subconscious mind, but in, you know, intuitively you've dealt with it. So, and you removed your attachment around it. You were, you submitted to the situation. And as a result, you are attracting this abundance here. Yep, and we see appreciation. You're acquiring something, the fruits of your labor, you're finally gonna benefit from the fruits of your labor because of this lack of control in negotiating. So you negotiated this control, right? And there was a principal situation, you're getting attention, you're getting recognized here, and we see that definitely, we see there's, that when I see it this way, when I see, look at the affair card, I'm saying that some, there's, there's definitely, 
this attracting energy here. You're attracting the right energy towards you. You're bringing those abundant energies in in the next couple weeks, okay? In a very unusual way, this change is happening for you guys. It's the right time now, okay? Just to be clear cut about it. And as Spirit has said, you're finally benefiting from the fruits of your labor. I mean, you've been very attached to the situation. You kind of just decided at this time, you're just like, I'm just surrendering to it and, it's, and now it's coming. Okay, so let's move into your romantic love life now. All right, so what's gonna happen with my Cancer's romantic love life for December 12th to December 25th? I need to see. Give me nine cards for the romantic love life. Give me three extra cards for what I need to know for their romantic love life. Show me the cards. Let's see. Show me the cards. Two. See. Okay, Cancer. Let's see here. So it looks like the Seven of Pentacles is coming out. You're waiting around to see how things are going to play out. Someone's about to speak their truth to you, and it's everything that you want here with the Nine of Cups energy. This is what you've wanted. They're finally speaking the truth to you with something you've invested so much time in. Oh my God. We see you're a little bit cautious, defensive, but we see now things are aligning for you. You've manifested something great here with the Magician card energy. Yes, the truth is coming out. There is truth coming out here with the Queen of Swords energy. Yes, you have a victory here. Oh my God. You guys are sitting pretty here. Queen of Wands shows me you see there's there you go again clarifying again that there is an attractive energy you guys are like like the queen of wands energy you are attracting uh abundance to you you're attracting passion to you you're attracting opportunities to you you're attracting uh people to you so that's the queen of wands energy you have a victory around that so who what signs could you be dealing with here gemini libra Aquarius energy aries sagittarius leo energy and we see here that the ten of swords is showing me that by the end of the two weeks, you're going to feel like, wow, finally, this tough cycle, this, this, this issues are over now. It's over. Ten of swords. You know, you, you beat this tough cycle, right? And what's the influence of your romantic love life? But the ten of cups saying that there's a happy energy coming in. And a new person here with the full card energy is the person coming towards you. And temperance is your advice saying, be patient. Uh, heal your situation, allow things to come into balance emotionally. Okay, so person who's coming towards you is a new person. There's a new person coming here. Okay, so let's get more information. Let's use Lynn Norman here. I want some clarity here. Cancer's romantic love life. Okay, December 12th to December 25th. Show me what I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two. See. Okay. So there's been a waiting around, missing, longing energy with the ship card energy. And positive changes because of this truth coming out. Someone that fulfills your desires, someone that you wanted, but there were some worries and concerns about revealing this information. We see, yes, this is your ideal partner. This is somebody that you've manifested. There is true love coming in. And we see an apology or uh, this is a luck, lucky thing. Well, definitely we sell Jupiter for your astrology. So luck is on your side here in the next couple weeks, influencing your astrology. So this is lucky. So luck and we see truth. And we see that travel could be part of the burdens and the challenges here in the next couple weeks with a particular person. And we see that yes, a power move is being made here towards you with the bear card energy. And then we're going further here on this influence. You have an opportunity. Absolutely, you have an opportunity that's going to make you happy. This new person looks like could be forming into a commitment here with the ring card energy. Your advice is to be patient with yourself so things come into balance so you can gain some kind of knowledge. And then let's go get more clarity here. Now, the burden or challenge could be because there's a work relationship here, okay? Or the burden and the challenge could be that um, you want to gain some kind of control around the situation. Or there is something long distance about this. Okay, so 
because we see that the ship car can talk about travel and store car can change of location, which is causing some stress, revealing feelings about love. You're seeing that. And we see a reconciliation, an apology or luck. We see this burden or responsibility and a person is making a power move or gaining control over the situation. Okay, so what's gonna have my Cancer's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Cancer's romantic love life and says happy. And give me three cards for the extra cards I need for Cancer's romantic love life. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Also the full card could talk about I'm taking a risk towards a commitment. We see I'm missing you, longing for you. I wanted to apologize for hiding these things for you, lying to you about something to do with a friend. I had a lot of uncertainty about where I stood with you, Cancer, and I'm missing you. I, I don't want to have these delays and challenges anymore. I've really thought about this very deeply. You are the best decision for me, Cancer. And this is an abrupt decision that's being made, Scythe card energy. You're feeling like there's some kind of spiritual messages coming in, uh, or your, your, your intuition is definitely giving you some kind of messages which is influencing your romantic love life. When it comes to this opportunity, it makes you really happy. We see it's time here for this person. We see with a commitment. So there's a commitment coming in with the ring card energy. It looks like it could have been a new person or someone who you wanted to take a risk on or this person needed to take a risk on you with a full card energy. It does seem like spirits like you got to deal with these regrets about the past, okay? Because there's a lot of unhealthy reflections of the past and forgiveness needs to begin here so healing can begin. So going further here, obviously you guys are going to get some communication here about somebody who wants to invest time in a connection, spend time together. We see there's a text message letter or document to bring things into balance when it comes to this isolation, separation, and an offer of love where you're gonna to have to make a decision and you're very happy about this, okay, with the sun card energy. So we see there's an apology coming in, a reconciliation, a healing energy for you guys. So if this isn't a person you've dealt with before, it could be a new person that you've dealt with before that could have been far away or in a long distance or a distance from you. We see that there, there's a, there, something's going in your favor. They have uncertainty about where they stood with you in this isolation and separation and there was concerns about some kind of deception. They're letting you know that they miss you and you're the best decision here. That friends were causing the delays and challenges and now they've taken an action or done something all of a sudden. This is a sudden thing. Okay, then going down another layer here, Cancer. Okay, travel, movement, change, okay? Longing, missing, positive change, worries and concern and revealing this about love. Taking a risk, because that's also the Clover card can talk about risk or gamble towards this burdens or responsibility or a spiritual message. Because of a spiritual message, we see person card making a power move. Okay, going down on the layer here. I've invested time, I've waited, now I'm ready to speak my truth to let you know that I want you. There's a cautious defensive energy, but you're everything my ideal partner, I'm speaking my truth, I wanna to travel towards you, I want a victory here because I had this strong chemistry and passion and now you're feeling like, wow, I've finally ended this tough cycle. Who's coming towards you, this new person or this person has taken a risk for a commitment because it's time. All right, my beautiful Cancers, congratulations. It looks like you're gonna be very happy in the next couple of weeks and you have this opportunity coming up and that is awesome for you guys. And they're finally telling you exactly what you were waiting for them to say, okay? Uh, so they're finally taking that risk here to speak that truth with these Queen of Swords and the King of Swords energy. Because this person does seem like you've invested some time with this person with the Seven of Pentacles energy. All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. You know I like to hear from you guys in the comments below. And I, I will see you guys another day or two. I hope you guys have a great rest of your next couple of days, and I will see you guys soon.